the Lord everyone. Today let us learn one of the spiritual lessons from the book of Exodus in the Bible. Today our topic is about the lessons from parting of the Red Sea by Moses one of the miracle in Exodus. The story of the parting of the Red Sea is one of the most famous and impactful events in the Bible. It tells the story of how God saved the Israelites from slavery in Egypt and led them to safety through the miraculous parting of the Red Sea. While this story is often seen as a historical event, it also offers profound spiritual lessons that can be applied to our daily lives. In this podcast, we will explore five spiritual lessons that we can learn from the parting of the Red Sea and how we can apply them to our own lives. Lesson 1 Trusting in God's plan The parting of the Red Sea is a powerful reminder that even when our situation seems impossible we can trust in God's plan The Israelites were trapped between the sea and the Egyptian army with no way to escape They must have felt hopeless and terrified yet God provided a way out for them In our lives we often find ourselves in difficult situations where we feel trapped and helpless. It may be a health issue, a financial crisis, a difficult relationship, or a challenging work environment. It is natural to feel overwhelmed and anxious in such situations. However, the lesson from the parting of the Red Sea is that we can trust in God's plan even when we can't see the way out. Trusting in God's plan requires us to have faith that everything happens for a reason and that God has a purpose for our lives. We may not understand why we are going through a difficult time, but we can trust that God is with us and that he will provide a way out. In addition, trusting in God's plan requires us to let go of our own plans and desires. We must be willing to surrender our will to God's will and trust that he knows what is best for us. This is not always easy as we often have our own ideas about how things should be. However, when we trust in God's plan, we can experience peace and freedom from worry and anxiety. Lesson 2: Overcoming Fear. The Israelites were afraid when they saw the Egyptian army approaching. They cried out to Moses, "Were there no graves in Egypt that you brought us out here to die in the wilderness?" Exodus 14:11. Their fear was understandable as they were facing a seemingly insurmountable obstacle. However, the lesson from the parting of the Red Sea is that we can overcome fear with faith. Moses responded to the Israelites' fear by saying, "Do not be afraid. Stand firm and you will see the deliverance the Lord will bring you today. The Egyptians you see today you will never see again. The Lord will fight for you. You need only to be still." Exodus 14:13 to 14. Similarly, in our lives We often face fears that can paralyze us and prevent us from moving forward. We may be afraid of failure, rejection, or the unknown. However, when we have faith in God, we can overcome our fears and move forward with confidence. Overcoming fear requires us to trust that God is with us even in the midst of our fear. We must believe that he will provide for us and protect us no matter what happens. This does not mean that we will never experience fear or anxiety, but it does mean that we can face our fears with courage and faith. Lesson 3: Patience and Perseverance. The parting of the Red Sea also teaches us the importance of patience and perseverance. The Israelites had been wandering in the wilderness for years, waiting for God to deliver them from slavery. When they finally left Egypt, they thought their journey was over. However, they soon found themselves facing another obstacle, the Red Sea. The Israelites could have given up in despair and returned to Egypt. However, they chose to persevere and wait for God to provide a way out. 
They waited patiently for Moses to receive instructions from God, and then they followed his lead. In our lives, we also face obstacles and challenges that require patience and perseverance. We may have goals or dreams that seem impossible to achieve, and we may encounter setbacks and failures along the way. However, the lesson from the parting of the Red Sea is that we can persevere and overcome obstacles if we have patience and trust in God. Patience requires us to wait for God's timing, even when it doesn't match our own. We must trust that God knows what is best for us and that He will provide for us in His own way and in His own time. Perseverance requires us to keep going even when the going gets tough. We must have the determination to keep moving forward, even when we encounter setbacks and failures. Perseverance also requires us to be flexible and adaptable, and to be open to new possibilities and opportunities. Lesson 4. The Power of Prayer The parting of the Red Sea also teaches us the power of prayer. When the Israelites were trapped between the sea and the Egyptian army, they cried out to God for help. Moses also prayed to God for guidance and direction. God answered their prayers by providing a way out of their predicament. He parted the Red Sea, allowing the Israelites to escape from the Egyptians and continue on their journey. Similarly, in our lives, prayer is a powerful tool that can help us to overcome obstacles and challenges. When we pray, we are communicating with God, and we are asking for His guidance and direction. Prayer can give us strength and courage, and it can help us to trust in God's plan for our lives. Prayer also helps us to develop a deeper relationship with God. When we pray, we are acknowledging our dependence on God, and we are expressing our gratitude and thankfulness for His blessings in our lives. Prayer can help us to stay connected to God and to remain focused on our faith. Lesson 5. The Importance of Trusting in Community The parting of the Red Sea also teaches us the importance of trusting in community. The Israelites were not alone when they faced the Red Sea. They were part of a community of people who were all on the same journey together. When Moses received instructions from God, he shared them with the community, and the community followed his lead. They trusted in each other, and they trusted in God's plan for their lives. Similarly, in our lives, we are not meant to face our challenges and obstacles alone. We are meant to be part of a community of people who support and encourage us. This community may be our family, our friends, our church, or our colleagues. Trusting in community requires us to be vulnerable and to share our struggles with others. It requires us to be open to receiving help and support, and to be willing to offer help and support to others in need. When we trust in community, we can draw strength from each other, and we can overcome obstacles together. In conclusion, the parting of the Red Sea is a powerful reminder of the spiritual lessons that we can learn from the Bible. By trusting in God's plan, overcoming fear, practicing patience and perseverance, using the power of prayer, and trusting in community, we can overcome the challenges and obstacles that we face in our lives. We can have faith that God is with us always, and that He will provide for us and protect us in His own way and in His own time. May God bless you.